couple days a day. I've been training. I'm in the zone. I'm feeling Scottish. Today's a good day. <laughs> We're gonna be reading this to the tune of the Bonnie Lad. The poem is entitled The Sexiest Saga. The first year I came to the sexiest kilt, I must be honest, my confidence did wilt. We came and sat to watch the contest from afar, and along with my courage, my kilt stayed in the car. <laughs> a myriad of lads came, each showing their wear. Every attendee wondering, what do they wear under there? <laughs> the next year I came, clad in my family plan. And with a few pints of Guinness, I said, Hey, that don't look so bad. <laughs> I went home with a smile, but no trophy or title. I said to myself, well, maybe American Idol? <laughs> In 07 I came and planned a silly shtick. In a full Scottish brogue, I shared how Scots and Irish tick. I brought my fiance and both my future in-laws. They supported me in my shtick and then in my loss. <laughs> another year has passed, and another year has come. I'm not worried about the crowd. I'm not worried about momentum. Sorry, I'm no Bobby Burns. <laughs> Sexy or not, I'm proud of you I wear. My father's name, my family clan, it's a proud symbol I wear. And to you who want to know what's worn underneath and south of the border? The answer is simple. Nothing. Everything's in perfect working order. <laughs> One day, when I was born, I knew my parents had dreams for me. The birth of our first son or daughter. And today, thank you.